For today's video, we are going to talk about factoring cubic polynomials and we are going to explain in details how do we get the answer. On the first example, we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 10. So how can we find the factors of the given polynomial? In factoring cubic polynomials, the first thing that we're going to do is to check whether the given polynomial can be solved using factoring by grouping. So to check, let us have 2 divided by 1, that is 2. And then let's have negative 10 divided by negative 5, that is 2. If the first two coefficients have the same ratios as the last two coefficients, then we can solve the given polynomials by factoring by grouping. So let us rewrite x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 10. So let us factor this one by group. The greatest common factor of x cubed and 2x squared, that is simply x squared. So let us divide x cubed divide by x squared. Let us copy the base, that is x, and let's subtract the exponent, that is 1. So we are going to have x. And then 2x squared divide by x squared. Let us cancel this one, that is 2. So we are going to have x plus 2. On the other side, the greatest common factor of negative 5x and negative 10, that is simply negative 5. And let's divide negative 5x, divide by negative 5, that is x. And then, let us have negative 10, divide by negative 5, that is positive 2. So we are going to have x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 5, and this will be our answer. On number 2, we have 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 6x minus 12. So let us check if the first two coefficients have the same ratios with the last two coefficients. So let us have negative 8 divided by 4, that is negative 2, and then negative 12 divided by 6, that is also negative since we have the same ratios, then we can solve this one using factoring by grouping. So let us have 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 6x minus 12. So let us group this one. The greatest common factor of 4x cubed and negative 8x squared, that is 4x squared. So let us divide 4x cubed divided by 4x square that is simply x and then negative 8x square divide by 4x square let us cancel this one we are going to have negative 8 divided by 4 that is negative 2 on the other side the gcf of 6x and negative 12 that is 6 and then we have 6x divided by 6 that is x and negative 12 divided by 6, that is negative 2. So we are going to have x minus 2 times 4x squared plus 6. Since we can factor this one, the greatest common factor of 4x squared and 6, that is 2. And 4x squared divided by 2, that is 2x squared. And 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And let us write x minus 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. So the first thing that we're going to do is to check if the first two coefficients have the same ratio with the last two coefficients. And to check, let us have 3 divided by 1, that is 3, and negative 12 divided by negative 4, that is 3. Since we have the same ratio, therefore we can solve this one using factoring by grouping. So let us rewrite this one as x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. So let us factor this one by group. The GCF of x cubed and 3x squared, that is x squared. So let us divide x cubed divide by x squared, that is x. And then 
3x square divide by x square, that is 3. While on the other side, the GCF of negative 4x and negative 12 is negative 4. So let's have negative 4x divided by negative 4, that is x. And negative 12 divided by negative 4, that is positive 3. So therefore, we are going to have x plus 3 times this one, x squared minus 4. Since we can factor this one, we are going to have x plus 3. And then, the factors of x squared minus 4, let us find the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 4. And if we add, we can get 0. And that is positive 2 and negative 2. 2 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So therefore, we are going to have x plus 2 and x minus 2. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So let us check if the first two coefficients have the same ratio with the last two coefficients. So let's have negative 4 divided by 1, that's negative 4. And then 6 divided by 1, that is 6. Since we don't have the same ratio, we are going to use synthetic division. And we are going to consider the factors of 6, that is positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2, positive and negative 3, and positive and negative 6. So let us check if positive 1 is included in our solution. Let's have the coefficients of x cubed, that is 1, negative 4, 1, and 6. Let us bring down 1. 1 times 1, that is 1. Let us add negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And 6 plus negative 2 is 4. So therefore, since this 1 is not equal to 0, that means x equals to 1 is not included in our solution. So let us try negative 1. And then let's have the coefficients 1, negative 4, 1, and 6. Let us bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. And then we have 1 plus 5, that is 6. And 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And 6 plus negative 6 is 0. So therefore, x equals negative 1 is included in our solution. If you are going to write this one in factored form, this will be x plus 1. And to find the other factors, let us have x squared minus 5x plus 6. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get positive 6. And if we add, we can get negative 5. And that's negative 2 and negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. So therefore, the factors of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 is x plus 1 x minus 2, x minus 3. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thanks so much for watching and God bless us all.